Worthington Kilbourne comes to Marv Moorhead Stadium looking for a little redemption from week one of the season, losing to the Irish 17 to 14. Dublin Sciota also arrives looking to avenge a loss to the Wolves in the playoffs last year. It's round two, the regional semis, the battle for hard road, and it's coming up next on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Division II Regional Semifinal Action of the OHSAA Football Playoffs. Alongside Matt DeRazio, I'm Ryan Mitchell, and we're here at Upper Arlington High School to bring you the rematch in the Battle of Hard Road between Dublin Sciota and Worthington Kilbourne. And Matt, these two teams are very familiar with one another. In their last 24 ball games, five have been head-to-head -head matchups, and they both have a bad memory in their recent past to give them motivation for tonight's game. Yeah, there's plenty of motivation. First of all, it's a backyard brawl for Hard Road, but most importantly, you're trying to win in advance, and that spot in the regional finals is huge. Absolutely, and as we take a look here at the brackets, you've got both of these two teams winning last week. Obviously, Dublin Sciota got the better of Taves Valley. Worthington Kilbourne was able to beat Watkins Memorial. They've got to win this one, but the winner probably has a pretty big test next week. Yeah, first test is tonight, but certainly looking over your shoulder at Owen TNG and Wooster and saying, hey, if we can win tonight, we got a big one next week. Let's first talk about Worthington Kilbourne. They come in with an offense that had to redefine itself after losing their signal caller, senior Griffin Dan, in week four. Yeah, but Tyler Davis came in and has filled it nicely with a 5-2 and two record. And as a quarterback and as a young quarterback, what you're trying to do is win games. And he's done that, and he's got his team in the second round of the playoffs. In the game of football, injuries happen, and so those left standing have to pick up the slack. Let's now talk about a couple of those players in our nationwide Children's Hospital Stars to Watch, which are brought to you by the expert team of sports medicine specialists at Nationwide Children's. For Kilbourne, keep your eyes on Isaiah Young. This kid has done it all on offense. Yeah, with, and with a football program that is built on running the ball, Isaiah Young is one of the best ones they've had in a long time. He has a school record 1,460 yards, averaging 5.8 yards a carry, and he's got 12 touchdowns to go along with it. Dublin Sciota is no stranger to next man up either. They lost their top defender and leading rusher in OSU recruit Nick Connor to injury. That left two holes for the Irish. There's holes, but there's a program there with tradition. That's what Coach Johnson and his staff has done, and they've, they've given guys opportunities to say, hey, when it's your turn, you've got to step up and deliver. The Dublin Sciota Nationwide Children's star to watch this evening is quarterback Nathan Dansel. Matt, he's a player that makes his team go. He really does, and I'll tell you what, he is a special quarterback. He just has those the quarterback instincts. Um, as he does things is how this team will go. If he has a big game, as he did last week against Hayes Valley, 305 yards and four touchdowns, and he can feed off of that, look for them to get the W. There is no chunk of asphalt online tonight in this ri rivalry renewal, but something even bigger, a chance to move on in the state championship playoffs. Settle in, because it's coming up next on Time Ladies Warner Cable Sports Channel. Back and so, Worthington Kilbourne will start with the football. The Battle of Hard Road taking place on a neutral field here tonight at Upper Arlington. As we mentioned in the open, in the last 24 games, five have been head-to-head -head between these two teams. So when you talk about game planning, boy, there's not a whole lot of mystery. There isn't. And, and I'll tell you what, we talked to both coaches before the game, and they kind of said the same thing. We are who we are. We're, we watched the film from week one, but we're different names or different teams at this point. So you got to go out there and just be who you're at. You are. There you see Davis's numbers. And the first pass is behind the line, and that's going to work out terribly for the Wolves. And Dublin Sciota sniffed that one out, and the Irish were all over that play. And Isaiah Young went down well behind the line of scrimmage. Take a look at this as Tyler Davis tried to get it into the playmaker's hand, and then, boy, Young tried to make a move backward. That's rarely a good idea. Denzel up near under center. Now he's actually back in the gun. He's got Kutchever behind him, hands it off. And up the middle for a couple. Francis Kutchenberg, his brother Dominic Kutchenberg, will also run the football and catch some passes as well. They like to spread it around here a little bit, but Denzel can get it done on the ground and through the air. The one area where he has struggled a bit this year is turnovers. He's thrown 14 interceptions. Yeah, and you don't typically see that out of a, a senior quarterback, especially a guy that's a two-year starter, unless you're trying to do too much and try to force things. And sometimes as a quarterback, you can do that. So now's the time to settle that, settle in and, and just play your game. Trips to the left, and the throw goes to the wide side. Making a move and getting up past the 45-yard line, Jake Keeley. 
He'll be shy of the third, the first down, but it'll be third and manageable here. Quickly getting it to the outside. Yeah, and I like that. In fact, Vogel does a good job blocking there. Josh Vogel and the Twins receiver trying to free up his, his guy for a few extra yards, and I love it when those receivers take pride in, in blocking. They're going to go empty backfield now. Three to the right, two to the left for Denzel. Who waits for the snap out of the shotgun. Drops back, looking right. Throws, has an open man. The catch is made, and once again, that is Jake Keeley with the first down reception, and they are into Kilmore territory. Yeah, empty backfield, and Denzel does a good job hitting his last step, stepping up and delivering that curl route on the button. And that's exactly what you want. I'll tell you what, when you spread everybody out like that, you spread the defense out, you can find some holes. And once again, senior quarterback should be able to deliver. It just did right there. First down, now a whistle and a flag down. And offsides once again. There have been a lot of pre-snap penalties so far here in the first quarter. Encroachment, defense, five-yard penalty. Still first down. And Ryan, the key right there was the hard count. And I always say this, it's underutilized. As a quarterback, if you can use voice inflection and get those defensive linemen thinking a little bit and get them jumping and maybe slow them down in half a second, you've won. Three receivers to the left for Denzel. Handoff goes to Kutchenberg, who breaks to the left side, almost had himself free, but grabbed at the very last moment and held up a couple in on the tackle. Pick up of about six yards. I'll tell you what, because of the penalty, and, and even though that's a short run right there with the, with the defense that's swarming right now, you're still on schedule with second and four, and you still have the wide open playbook and, as far as what you want to call. At that Detroit Lions run and shoot look out there right now. Two left, two right. One running back behind Denzel. Snap in the handoff, up the middle with some room. Kutcherberg breaks a tackle and gets down to the 25 yard line to move the chains. And there was some acceleration there by Kutcherberg, especially when he sees that opening. That offensive line's getting low, driving, and creating a seam right there. And that's exactly what you want if you're a senior running back. You're getting a handoff up the middle. Now you talked about the wide receivers set out creating space. It works in the running game as well. Three wide to the right this time. That's a looking run. Makes the pass. It's caught. And that'll be a pickup of about five yards. Once again, it's Jake Keeley. He's been the go-to receiver so far tonight for Nathan Denzel. Yeah, right now, a little connection here between Denzel and Keeley, and you like to see that as a quarterback. That can give you, that can relax you a little bit. Okay, say, I got my target. Starting to get, a little, get, get on a little roll here. I've got some completions. Keeley's my guy, and he's doing a great job catching the ball. He's in the middle of three receivers lined up to the left now. On second down and about four and a half. Just inside the 20, the snap and the pass. And this time it's on the outside, making a turn, but being brought down at the very last moment. That time was Evan Wallace. It was Keeley's job that time to provide some cover. And you like to see that. Once again, you see number seven, Keeley throwing the block, and Wallace trying to get to the outside, get everything he can get. But Denzel does a good job catching that and getting the ball out of his hands as fast as he can with a very accurate, accurate throw. On third and one here, an interesting call. We haven't seen Denzel run all that much. He's got 640 yards on the ground this year. Now he goes up under center. He's going to break it past the barrier and into a first down, down near the 10-yard line. Boy, he stepped up under center, took that quick snap, and nobody was ready. Ryan, I love the call, especially because within the offense, when you're in the spread like that in the shotgun, sometimes you come up and maybe give direction to the offensive lineman so the, you know, the defense is, is on their heels a little bit. You get under center, you snap, catch everybody off guard, and that's an easy first down. Under four minutes to go here in the first. Three to nothing. Dublin Sciota got an early field goal. Knocking on the door here. First and goal outside of the 10. So they can't get another first down. It's Francis Kutchember on the handoff, and he's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Coach Trombetti putting everybody in the box, playing man on the outside. So there's nine guys in the box trying to stop that run. Darren, the quarterback, to make the throw because they're saying, we're not going to give up the run. You're not going to run it on us. If you're going to beat us on, these, on this play right here, you're going to have to throw it. And 
That's a win right there for the Wolves. It becomes easier to play man coverage when you have less ground behind you to cover. Absolutely, field shrinks and all of a sudden you become a better defender. Hensel now out of the gun. He's gonna hand off to Kutchenberg. who goes around the left side. He's got a blocker, he keeps his feet and works his way down to about the six yard line. That's a nice run right there. See him coming right into your living room here around the left side. Right there, kept the hand on the ground and got that extra two yards. Great balance, two hands in the ball as he's going down. Uh, great job securing it. And that's one of the big things we talked about before is turnovers and then ball security. And right now, you know, the Irish are, is doing a good job with that. Third down play now in the shadow of the goalposts. Motion for the first time, no handoff. Denzel keeps it, he's got room, he's got six. Flag on the play after the conclusion of the play. We'll see what the call is there. But Nathan Denzel went untouched into the end zone. And that's gonna come back. Big penalty. That is, it's a big penalty. It looked like it was well read there by Nathan Denzel, but there's a reason he walked in, I guess. Third run, holding. Number 78 yeah, the flag came in late. The official was the foul. with cold hands Receive tonight. Had some trouble getting that one out of the uh, out of the waistband, but that's going to push him back 10 yards. A race a pretty nice run by the quarterback, and again, just the second time we've seen Denzel take off. Carl Johnson obviously not real happy with the result of that play. Let's see what he dials up here on third and long. Denzel back to pass. Looking toward the end zone, he's got a man, but off the fingertips, looking for the flag, but that one's not gonna be called. The coverage was very, very tight. I like the call here, though. You got the tight coverage you mentioned, but Schaefer is the receiver. Ball's a little high, but certainly, you know, as you're crossing that goal line, you have an opportunity as a receiver. You've got to focus on that football, grab it with your hands and tuck it away and, and make a play. And, you know, when you go back, Depending on who wins this game, you go back to plays like that. Who who stepped up on their, when they had an opportunity? Josh Stoner on the coverage. Now another field goal attempt for Sciota. This will be a 37-yard. Hard count on the snap, trying to get him maybe to jump again. It worked last time. Kick is up, got the distance. And it's good. So six to nothing, Dublin Sciota in the first quarter, just over two minutes left to go. And we'll be back after this on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. New quarterback under center. Be Sam Bigland, he hands off on the first play. Now Young's got some room. He's gonna shake and bake that one up to about the 34 yard line. He's not had a whole lot in the way of positive yards so far he has been met behind the line of scrimmage. But when you get Biglin in there, he's not a veteran quarterback by any stretch of the imagination, but he's got a little bit bigger arm, and so it provides the threat of going down the field. Yeah, a little more size, but once again, just a freshman. Can you imagine a freshman stepping up and you know, in this big game like this and understanding what's going on? But to have that little threat is key. He's back again, and again, hands off. And now there's some room for Young. Moves left, moves right. He's got midfield and a first down. And a flag in the backfield. That may be coming back as well, and it will. And there you see the frustration from Young because he has been hemmed in all night long, finally breaks one off, and it's coming back. Yeah, it's definitely going to be frustrating for him, but it's one of those things is this is a, this is a long ball game. Got to keep your head in the game and keep, keep plugging away. You're on, holding on the offense. Well, ten pushing back 10 yards. Repeat second down. Second down and about 15. We'll see now with two wide receivers out to the right and one to the left. If Biglin in the shotgun is going to be called upon to throw. He will. Looking to the left, throws over the middle. A man open and the catch is almost made. But at the very last moment, Dakota Holtzclaw bobbled it in and out of his hands. There were three defenders there, but the ball actually found the receiver's hands. Well, it's a well-thrown football into triple coverage, but I think that, you know, as a quarterback, when you're thrown to a 6'7", 200-pound guy, I think you can, as long as you keep it high, you know, he's always open. It's tough, you know, to, as a defender to get up that high. We're going to look from our end zone camera. 
Boy, the free safety over the top almost was able to get his hands on that ball. But again, as you said, a receiver 6'7". That's a big guy. That's a weapon you <laughs> got to utilize. So third and long, definite passing situation. Pulse claw again wide to the left. Will they hand off? Yes. Young has a lot of traffic in front of him. He'll be brought down at about the 14-yard line, a major loss on the play. Boy, they're trying to feed their horse here, yeah. but there's just no room for him to run. They did not give the first, so second and one. Denzel, delayed handoff to Kutchenberg. He's got some room on the right side. Puts his foot in the ground and out of bounds inside the 10. Did a nice job turning them upfield rather than going out of bounds around the 15 and picking up the extra yardage. Well, Kutchenberg, we know he's got speed, but right here with the stiff arm and then the balance, he's got good balance. Once contact's made, he doesn't go down very easily. So first and goal, Dublin Sayota right inside the 10-yard line. Three receivers wide to the left, one man to the right. They're looking that way. Here's the pass into the end zone, knocked away. Stoner on the coverage, knocked it away from Justin Schaefer. And that is solid coverage there by Stoner. Once again, they try to get that skinny post. Denzel looks like he's got the receiver open, but when you're covered like that, and Stoner makes a right play, goes with the left arm, no contact, that's just textbook DB play. They got him earlier for a pass interference, but this one, he was Johnny on the spot with the coverage. And you're right, if he tries to go over with the other arm, he's gonna make contact yep. and draw that flag. Or maybe not even get to the football. Motion into the formation, keeper by Denzel. Still around the 10 yard line, he's gonna get pushed back and tackled Nathan shy the of the line of scrimmage. Boy, first and goal right inside the 10. That's a, that's a difficult place to try and make your play calls. It really is, and I know Coach Johnson mentioned it at halftime, they've gotta score points when they get in the red zone. And then touchdowns, preferably. But one thing they got to feel good about, nice, cozy, comfortable thing, is they got Krosa. And <laughs> this guy's dang near automatic. Denzel looking to the sideline for the play. Now there's some confusion. That time it was Evan Wallace relaying the play to Kutchenberg. Now direct snap to Kutchenberg, a little trickeration. He goes around the right side and he'll get down to about the six before going out of bounds. That time Denzel came away from his shotgun as if trying to relay some things. Took the direct snap down to the running back who was able to pick up a few. I like it, little wrinkles here and there to keep the defense honest. Those are things you see on film. You hope you can catch a defense off guard, but you know, once again, having to score a touchdown right there to convert Kilborn does the right thing, keep the guys in front of you, make a tackle, and don't let them in. And again, you take the chance there because you have this nearly automatic field goal kick. Yep. So Krosa lines it up. It'll be a 29-yarder. He's been good twice. And it's going to be three, plenty of leg, and right through the uprights. This kid's going to play on Saturdays. Yeah, well, there's no doubt about it. One thing he's got is plenty of leg, but he's got confidence. I mean, he's he's one of those kickers that say, give me the ball, because I'm going to put it through. And to guarantee three points, that's huge in a game like this. Fans, visit CentralOhioHondaDealers.com to find the dealer nearest you and for great deals on fuel-efficient Hondas built right here in Central Ohio.